separate King's MMA in the back from some of the other uh, fighters. I don't know if there was an issue back there or... But, I mean, you put a lot of fighters in one room, you got a lot of testosterone. It doesn't matter if they're fighting each other or not, they'll figure out a way to. <laughs> yeah. While he was getting his hands wrapped, he just looked in the zone. He said he's ready. He gave me a fist bump. That's all I needed. The guy's pretty uh, in shape, too. Very lanky, too. Yeah. Very, very lanky. Marcus Thomas coming out next. We saw him fight last time. Uh, he put on a good show. He won. So it'll be good to see how he follows that up tonight. Definitely. And here he comes. He's grooving his way out here, singing along to his entrance music. He looks like he's ready. He's feeling loose. Relax. I like the vibing, but at yeah. the same time, I'm also keeping my head in the game kind of guy. When I'm competing, yeah. I'm not dancing. I'm not doing anything. I'm just... I'm trying to stay focused on the goal ahead of me, so yeah, we'll see. I, I don't know if you remember uh, Brock Lesnar. I think he fought Frank Mir. He came running to the cage. Yeah. He didn't care about a walk. He was pretty much saying, I want to get into this right yeah. now. I feel everyone has their own space that lets them feel ready. I think I would almost want to come out of some hype, and I would probably be a dancer, too. It makes me feel just comfortable, you know? When I, when I used to fight, I never would even get nervous for it. I would almost not think about the fight. So by the time I was in there, I had no time to even be nervous. When I get ready for comp, I just warm up to Ladies the point of exhaustion, throw on a first. sweater to keep the sweat going, I and then uh, wait for my matches. MMA in Love Anaheim, it. California, the warrior, Staderoff. Cold crowd, cold crowd. From right here in Bakersfield, California, representing the Pinnacle Fight Team, Marcus Thomas! Marcus Thomas looking like he's ready and in really good shape. I feel like this might be another quick one. 
I like I like how they they really can see their camera time when they do this. So it it, it makes a, it a in for like a better vibe for the fighters, you know. Really cool. They agree to touch hands, and it looks like they're ready. Let's see if we can get a, the third one round uh, finish again. Quick jab cross followed up with the kick. Ooh, Ooh. Body kick on the outside by Sadarov. Not body kick, thigh kick, kick to the thigh. Answered with the second leg kick. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Mar Marcus, when Marcus he's rushing in. His back. He's got an overhand grip, um, it's, but his hands are connected. Um, Sadarov's going to push the hand down, pop his head up, and set on to this half guard. Oh, it looks like Marcus has uh, got his hands connected. Yeah. Just not the right angle to finish a guillotine. More than anything, it's going to slow him down when he should be focusing on pushing the hips and uh, making a little bit of space. Yeah, it looks like he's literally just holding position rather than... And Sadarov passes to Mount. Yeah. He's going to pop his head out right now, and we're going to see some more ground and pound tonight. Oh, no, he's we have, chest they, contact. There I we like go. how we've gone in a couple full mount fights already. This, they, it's always exciting when they get the full mount. There oh, we go. Nice right hand from the top. I like how he just hits and reconnects and flattens him back out. He's letting him know he's in control, but he's not taking crazy chances yet. He's securing his position and showing his dominance. Couple more unanswered right hands. There he goes. Posture up. His, his he's knee got was Marcus trapping his, his leg. back against the cage. The ref is right on top. Yeah, yeah. rear and naked choke. Rear naked choke is set in. Yeah, oh, he pulled it down. He pulled it down. He might be able to escape. Be too high. I would like to try to see him go out the back door and pull I'd that like arm Sadarov down. I'd like Sadarov to uh, let go of the choke and get his hips, uh, get his hips a little more behind Marcus. Whoa. This is the first time we've seen the second round tonight. Wow, yeah, I, I thought that originally that that choke looked deep. It was, it started, but Marcus showed great composure, actually attacking the choking arm, not the hand across the neck. Marcus has a... a uh, He's got a good mouse on the inside. If you look on his right eye, he got hit pretty good. It has a small little cut, but you can see it already forming a bruise, so that might be an issue if, if this fight gets to the third. Third I like, round. I like the maturity Sadarov showed when he got to mount. He didn't go crazy just trying to strike. He got a couple, resecured, and really made Marcus have to scramble. And that's how he almost got that choke. Yeah. So if he can keep making Marcus make mistakes, he might get the finish in this next round. I would I would like to see Marcus maybe when he if you notice he got caught in those exchanges. He would come with a, in with a kick but keep his arms down. So I'd want to see him keep his hands up a little bit more if he's going to throw those kicks when he comes in and and land one of those kicks would, would do some damage. Second round of action, getting ready to go. Touch gloves again. There we go. There we go. Nice one, too, from Marcus. Oh. I think, uh, I think that kick went a little low. Low kick from Marcus. He apologized right away. It was obviously unintentional. That's one of these things about these amateur fights. A lot of these guys don't have a lot of experience yet, so their shots are still going to be a little more wild. They're not yeah. going to have as much accuracy as uh, some people who have been fighting for years and years. Refs letting Marcus know what he did wrong. And usually they're, they're, there's warnings here and they don't want to take a point right away. So I like how Marcus came out right away with his hands up, looking tight with his adjustments. Touch again. Marcus being a little weary about closing oh. the distance this time. Oh. oh, two big unanswered shots from Sadarov. It was there the first time, so he just threw it again, and it was there again. 
Marcus turning this clinch around, pitting Sadorov against the cage. He needs to uh, he nice needs to do something, Marcus. and he's on bottom again. Let's see if Sadorov continues the control that he did in the first round. We have a butterfly guard right now from Marcus on bottom, and he's got good connection. He could, uh, if he sits up and extends, he can get a sweep and end up on top. What, what would you uh, want to see from Marcus right now? I want to see him, if he's going to do work the butterfly guard, he can't try and keep turning to his right side and sweeping him towards the cage. He's not going to be able to dump off to that side. He needs to extend his hips away, sit up, and get his head below Sadorov's chin. And Sadorov jumped right over past full mount. Once again, prioritizing position. Looks like he's working a head and arm choke. He's just squeezing. This is more of a neck crank. It's not going to put Marcus to sleep, but it is going to be uncomfy for a second. There we go. Oh, wow. Good, Good bridge. All right. Way to bridge over. Let's see uh, wow. what Sadorov's guard game is like. He felt very comfy on top, but... Uh, Let's see if the guard is I would is love any to see what, what Marcus does from the top now that, now that roles have reversed. Staying active, hitting the body. Even throwing a nice little elbow to the body right now. I think right now we're seeing that adrenaline dump in full effect. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. slips the triangle, and he's just hitting a couple strikes before the bell. That was a great playing of points. He didn't try and finish a triangle right there. He just locked up a position yeah. and got a few hits and uh, let the round end. He was very aware of how much time he had left. I, lo I love how we're seeing a little bit of everything in this fight. We've already seen Marcus from the bottom and on top, and we've seen some good exchanges on the feet. Third round started. First fight of the night to go the, to the yeah. round. Yeah, let's see if we go the distance. You can see the adrenaline dump taking place in both these guys. Both of them are taking heavy breaths. Sadorov's got his hands on the hips. Sadorov looks looks like he he he's saving everything for this round, and it might go all out. Marcus looks in really good shape. I haven't seen any heavy breathing from him at all this fight. Oh, but big. that overhand right by Sadarov was there, and it looks like he's looking to land big it again. Ooh, oh, check left oh, hook. Big wow, overhand big right, right. Hand. Clinching, good to take down again. Marcus quickly closes guard. I would have loved for Sadarov to keep it on the feet. It looks like he was doing really well on the feet this whole fight. Yeah. But also, he hasn't been a slouch in the ground, especially yeah. when he's on top. Um, Marcus is making uh, making decisions that I wouldn't necessarily make. He's trying to work a jiu-jitsu open guard, not an MMA open guard. Um, and he loses position, and he's almost uh, he almost got mounted right there. We're settling back into a half guard. He's got a butterfly hook on the uh, on with his left leg. If he he's actually in a decent sweeping position, Sadorov's got a lot of weight forward. If uh, yeah. if Marcus shrugs his shoulders up and gets Sadorov's hips high, yeah. he can sweep him over to his right side. I would love to see Sadorov try to oh, sit yeah. up and, and throw down some punches, but it looks like they're both working the guard. Of they're both tired and just uh, moving through this round at a different pace. Marcus's corner telling him to uh, force some action. Uh, oh, wow, Sadarov's going in for a triangle. Oh, slips through a triangle. Reverse oh, triangle. Oh, really big, big right shots, hand to the temple though. from Sadarov. This is the risk you play. Oh, and oh, he lost wow. the triangle. It looks like it's locked in. We have a full lock triangle with 10 seconds left in the round. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Sadarov might hold on if he heard the click. Good finish to a three-round fight. Sadorov sat there the last 10 seconds. He heard the clicks and uh, knew he had 10 seconds to survive that triangle. I think he pulled off a victory, and I think he took it the safe yeah. route.
but good for him. And like I said, I feel like we got to see a bit of everything in this fight as well. We got to see a full fight. Yeah, full fight, and it, even even some attempt. They both actually attempted the triangle, so really good fight. Looks like Marcus saved everything for that last round because he looked pretty good with his cardio, and he put his hands up against that fence real quick after the fight was over. I think I still have this two rounds to one, though. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. Ten seconds. Marcus is corner man, uh, Albert Aguirre is signaling to me that uh, that triangle was very close and it was. Yeah. If he had a few more seconds, Sadarov probably would have went to sleep. Um, I think Sadarov won this fight two rounds to one. Yeah. He, let, he had a really good first round, but the second round is where he opened up, landing two big rights, then went to the ground. Marcus had his moment where he was able to reverse uh, and bridge up and get back on top, but I'm not sure if that was going to be enough. He has got a, yeah, let me check, he's got a video. We got Vic in the cage for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges scorecard for your winner via unanimous decision out of the blue corner, the warrior, Stadera. Exactly how I saw like that one said, going. Yeah. Good showing by both these gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, look forward to watching them both fight again. Uh, Marcus definitely has some uh, holes he needs to go back and work on. Yeah. Um, not accepting bottom position. Um, and definitely better guard work from the bottom. Yeah. And uh, Sadarov maybe needs to find a better pace because he seemed to have tired himself out pretty bad after the first yes, round. That, that was my concern too. It looked like he was tired by round two. Part of that... Feels, it makes me feel like that's why he didn't want to be on the feet too long as well. Yeah, he and wanted he wanted to get on top and have more control in the ground yeah. and work a different pace. But his striking was so heavy. Yeah, those those right.